Hi, I'm Jacob Keaton. This is Ask NASA. I'm here to answer your questions about the International Space Station. What is the International Space Station? This is the International Space Station. This is an orbiting outpost that is humanity's first permanent home away from home. It was built over the course of a decade by 15 different countries and five space agencies. On board, the crew lives in these cylindrical sections. Together, they're about the size of a five bedroom house that houses six people. This right here is the Canada arm, which is a robotic arm that lives outside. It's about 50 feet long, maybe a little more. And it's capable of moving all of these pieces of the space station around like a construction set. This is the Japanese laboratory complex right here. You can see we got a little astronaut right there for uh, scale. Each one of these boxes is an external experiment that is exposed to the vacuum of space. Uh, over here we have the European lab. None of these components ever met on the ground. The first time they were ever touched each other was in space and they all worked perfectly because our engineers and teams had worked together so closely before we launched them. Uh, moving back here is the United States lab. That's where everything meets and joins up. This is the airlock right here. That's where the astronauts do spacewalks from. They put on their spacesuits and they can go outside. These are the solar rays. There are eight of them and this is what powers the space station. It's an entirely solar powered vehicle. And that's the International Space Station, our orbiting home in space. Can I see the space station from Earth? Yes, you can. The space station is actually the third brightest object in the sky after the sun and moon. It orbits the Earth once every 90 minutes, but it needs the sun's light to shine on these arrays so that we can see it. If you have a pair of binoculars, you can actually make out pieces of the space station from the ground, but you don't need a telescope. The telescope zooms in too much and it moves far too fast. NASA has a website called Spot the Station, which tells you when to go look. And you can walk outside and it looks just like an airplane moving through the sky, except it doesn't flash and it's very, very bright. The space station weighs about 900,000 pounds and took more than 40 rocket launches to get it into space. The space station runs on Greenwich Mean Time because the space station partnership spreads around the entire world, so we had to pick one time zone that everybody could reference off of. The space station does have Wi-Fi. A lot of the external payloads uh, communicate with the inside of the space station uh, via Wi-Fi. The space station is about the size of a football field, including the end zones from end to end, and from front to back is about the size of a football field to the sidelines. How fast does the space station move? The space station travels at about 17,500 miles an hour, which is what's called orbital velocity for low Earth orbit. This means it circles the Earth once every 90 minutes. It means the crew gets to see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets every day. What do the astronauts on space station work on? The crew on the space station is there to do research into all kinds of scientific disciplines, from earth science to space science to microgravity research to biology to just what it's like to live and work in space. When the crew isn't maintaining the space station, they are exploring the effects of microgravity on their own bodies as well as on the systems that we will need to go further into the universe. NASA is working with its partners in commercial industry to transfer the lessons of the space station onto them so they can learn to operate in low Earth orbit, uh, potentially building more platforms there to conduct all sorts of new and exciting research. NASA will be moving on to build an outpost around the moon called the Gateway, which is going, going to enable lunar exploration. How will the space station help us go farther into space? The space station, as our first permanent home in space, has taught us what we really need to live and work and be productive in the space environment. The space station is about three hours from home if we ever need to get home. As we go to the moon under the Artemis program, the crews will be about three days from home. After we learn what to, uh, how to work and live on the moon, we're going to go on to Mars. Mars can be anywhere from six to nine months from home. The space station will continue to be our base camp in low Earth orbit as we continue under the Artemis program to the moon and on to Mars. The coolest thing about the space station in my mind is the fact that 15 countries work together to build this and more than 100 other countries have been invited on board to conduct all sorts of experiments. It's truly a global enterprise and it shows how when we put our minds to it, we can really achieve something amazing. Do you have a question for NASA? Send your questions to our experts on Twitter using hashtag AskNASA.